take the... I don't know. I don't really know what to call that. Platform? I guess platform uh, is a really good uh, description of what those are. The statue's eyes watch you warily. Now, uh... Hmm, from here I'm actually a little fuzzy on where to go. I think it's south. No, I don't want to use any of the healing spells, because then I wouldn't be able to nuke the boss with my, uh, dragon magic. Unfortunately, in this game, the main character's dragon spells are one shot to sap all of your AP, and if you don't have, uh, all of your AP, they do vastly decreased damage. Fast forward to the little... Oh, a healing herb. Let's see. That is a statue of Namufu, and she will... And it will teleport you out if uh, you lock the door and... Oh, I didn't know I had that. If you uh, open that chest earlier and had the door locked on you and uh, need to get out, she will transport you out. Fast forward a little bit. Alright, now this is an interesting little puzzle, actually. That uh, if you want all the items, I usually can do it right off the bat. Lots of good stuff in these chests. Unfortunately, you can actually screw up and uh, have to uh, start the tower pretty much over. I think... There we go. I wanted the item. Like I said, good items. Here we go. Warlock ring and a sage's robe. All of that goes on Nina. I know you guys will forgive me fast forwarding through the uh, random battles. I don't know, maybe I should look into a game genie cheat to turn off the uh, random battles. Oh, I don't have to deal with them at all when I'm filming. I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll look into that. Oh, awesome. I don't have to restart. It's not too hard of a puzzle, but, you know, when you're a little kid, that, man, that, that's a real brain buster. I think there is the, uh, statue of the, uh, sage. Right oh, yeah, these little guys. I always thought they were funny. You know, I just actually made the uh, connection that those are indeed the Acorn Knights for the third and fourth game. The Acorn people that show up. That are weak to fire spells. I actually don't think they are in this one, but you know. 
wisdom brace. It's a pretty good accessory. It's one of the few accessories that actually work. Several of the accessories in this game actually don't do anything. Uh, the collar comes to immediate mind. The... Ooh. Oh man, I had the aim. See, I got cursed for nothing. I could have prevented that. Anyway. As you can see, the Wisdom Brace raises her Wisdom by 10 points. Which is really good, because that means her de spells will do more damage. Let's throw a lightning bolt on these guys' face. Nope. I keep almost healing. I must save it. Let's see. We're almost to the top. I need to go buy items. There's Namufu's room. Nympho. Okay. and ever and ever. Slightly creepy. And a bit of a crazy bitch. That, uh, she needs therapy and has many, many issues. In the original, she's like, oh, you don't want to play with me? Well, I'll just kill you and play with your dead body. They all do the same amount of damage. There is absolutely no elemental properties to these three whelps. But I'll use the electric whelp. Let's see... Eh, might as well throw Fire Blast. lightning on there. It's all good. Kind of upset it's not going to do its full damage. Full damage is 256 and it does uh, damage. It's a percentage. So like if you have 80% of your uh, AP then it'll do 80% of 256. I must say though, I do prefer the uh, inventory system, like the way things are ordered in the original, where they go from side to side instead of straight down in a list. I do know why he did that. He, something to do with bu oh, a bug, and he did it to prevent, you know, game crashes or something, some such. Seriously, how many people saw that coming? Oh, dang it, I hit the button to bring the little 